Well, welcome everyone. I'm Rose Oatley and today we're going to be making some delicious chicken and cheese quesadillas. Dorm friendly in your microwave. Now this is perfect for all students or for anyone that likes to cook in the microwave. So let's get started. And you're going to need some already cooked chicken. Now I like buying this grilled chicken from Walmart. It comes in a family size bag for about $5 and a smaller bag for about $2. You can also use rotisserie chicken or any cooked chicken. We're also going to need some cheese. I like the mild cheddar and Monterey Jack blend. If you can't find it, you can also use mozzarella and mild cheddar. I'm going to be using some flour tortillas and I recommend that you buy these burrito sized tortillas. These are super large guys. They're probably bigger than your butt. <laughs> anyway, you get the point. Uh, these are perfect for quesadillas. You're also going to be needing some veggies. I like using onion, red bell pepper, green pepper, and cilantro. Now, if you don't like the veggies, you can skip this part, but I do recommend it. And of course, you're going to be needing a Tupperware container. I like buying these disposables. I'm sure you guys probably have plenty in your dorm room. And I'm going to be thinking just like a student today. So if there's anything that I'm missing, hey, let me know in the comments below, okay? All right, so we're going to start by chopping up some cilantro. I love using cilantro because it gives it that nice Mexican flavor that we're looking for and so we want to just chop this up in small pieces i'm also going to be cutting a very small piece of onion as you can see you don't need a lot of onion you just want to add a little bit of flavor so we're going to go ahead and dice this up we're also going to be dicing up a small piece of red bell pepper and green bell pepper sometimes they'll sell uh the peppers already diced up at the grocery store so you can always buy them that way instead of having to cut everything yourself as well for your chicken you can find it in the refrigerated section at your walmart right by where they have the cream cheeses at least that's where i found mine now this is the family size bag and if you say rose i'm on a budget girl i don't want to spend five dollars well you could either buy the $2 bag, which is smaller, or another suggestion would be to split it amongst friends. This bag will actually serve four people for the large quesadillas easily. So you won't be paying as much. Anyway, so the chicken comes in large strips. So what I like to do is cut them in bite-sized pieces. And I'm not going to be using the whole bag today. I'm only going to cut a little bit because I'm making a quesadilla just for myself. But if you ever cook a little extra, be sure to save it because uh, you can always make a salad with it later. All right, so let's just go ahead and give this a quick mix. And as you can see, I'm even using a plastic spoon. I'm really trying to put myself in your shoes. So guys, I'm just kind of curious, what do you keep in your dorm room? Students, let me know in the comment section below. I love when people participate, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper, and this will be to your taste. Now, if you happen to have some cumin and garlic powder laying around, go ahead and put a little bit of that as well, but it's really not needed. Salt and pepper will do just fine. I'm going to put this in my microwave to heat up for at least one minute. My chicken is ready. Let's give this a quick mix. Now, I know some of you are saying, oh, but cooking in the microwave. Yeah, I know there's certain things that don't taste so great in the microwave oven. I will agree with you on that. But there are so many things that you can do to make a meal taste super delicious. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to show you how to master cooking in the microwave and making your dishes taste delicious. I will be posting random videos like this just for you. I've got some butter spray here that I'm going to be spraying on both sides of my tortilla. If you have regular butter, you can just spread a little bit of butter on each side. This is just for added flavor and you also don't have to use it if you don't want okay this is optional all right so over here we've got our mild cheddar and monterey jack cheese we're going to be adding a layer to only half of your tortilla now we want to add our chicken on top of the cheese and again this is only on half of your tortilla okay so now we're going to go in with another layer of cheese on top 
Once you add your layer of cheese, you wanna go ahead and fold it just like a taco. And we're gonna put this in our microwave starting at one minute. Now, every microwave varies in wattage so you want to start at least at about a minute and you want to cook until your cheese melts so if your cheese hasn't melted completely just like it hasn't here you want to go ahead and stick it back in the microwave i went ahead and put mine in for another 25 seconds so just keep an eye on it i would go after you do one minute i would go in increments of at least 25 to 30 seconds each my quesadillas are ready. Let's get these out of here. Quesadillas are normally served with sour cream and guacamole, although I am out of wok, but you can buy the guacamole at your grocery store already made. Another suggestion is the cilantro avocado yogurt dressing, which is so delicious. You can also just serve it with ranch salsa, and you don't even need a dip. You can just eat it by itself. All right, let's go ahead and cut through this and see what we've got. Yum! What do you think, guys? Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.